probably know we picked up the 2019 Z400 and that bike needs a lot of maintenance to be honest we've done most of it and you'll see the entire series down below I'll put a few links you'll see how to do an oil change you'll see how to bleed your brakes you'll see a lot of stuff but one thing on my bucket list was exhaust and I don't want to go with the full exhaust system I don't want to remove the cat and make it super loud maybe at least for now so i've picked up the easiest solution when it comes to the exhaust system for ninja 400 or z400 this is mgp slip on exhaust all you have to do just take a few bolts it will take like five minutes <laughs> you don't need to have any knowledge it's so easy if you ever hold the scissors in your hand you'll be able to do it i'll show you how shall we <laughs> Well, that's the time when you have to open the box and see what's inside. Sounds like a lot of parts. Yeah, the first thing I see, stickers. Sooner or later, I will be able to decor my entire living room with those. Okay. You got clam, mountain bolts, spring, washers, now to the fun part here you've got the pipe and you've got the second clamp perfect that's the pipe that's the second clamp mgp39 now let's see the pipe itself haha <laughs> more stickers all right it's welded quite nicely this is supposed to be loud enough but it should be comfortable for everyday use i like the glossy carbon looks beautiful but this is pretty much the same pipe that i already saw on the ninja 1000 when we did the exhaust and right now i'm gonna save some time i'm gonna put the spring i'm gonna connect this pipe here's the installation process first remove the sticker made in italy i'm not a big fan to keep any stickers on the pipe which gonna get warm and those stickers gonna look bad take some rubbing alcohol and remove all the residual like I said just a few tools but first and foremost you have to have gloves I got gloves all right if you don't have wrench 12 mil 10 mil Phillips screwdriver and a couple of allen keys this is not the job for you but how can you possibly don't have those tools if they are in your toolkit that's provided with your motorcycle yeah literally look somewhere here i have a bunch of wires so i move my toolkit but it's gonna look like this and inside you will find every single thing that i just mentioned so you have it no more excuses we're changing the exhaust let's do it all right let's start with the very basic stuff you have one phillips down below just take it loose one allen key to remove the cover behind it you have a clamp so you have to slide it down move it away and now just literally hanging down below on that phillips screw done so look behind this is what's holding on both sides and one simple screw allen screw on the middle right now i changed my microphone to this stereo so you can clearly hear how it sounds ready roll and that's me sitting right next to the exhaust The engine is cold, the pipe is cold. Mm. 
now before you go elsewhere I would suggest you to take this bolt loose just because it's gonna cause you a lot of trouble if you remove the bottom clamp the exhaust gonna wiggle a lot and you want to have it loose so the back is 12 mil the front is 10 now I'm removing the rear screw yep I lost it <laughs> and I found it I'm taking this bolt out just slide it and this is heavy yeah that's probably eight to ten pounds right here you just drop a lot of weight now I'm taking this clamp removing I don't need it anymore and this is a good time to clean up some brake lines frame anything that was closed by this giant massive heavy exhaust that's pretty easy you take the clamp first you put the bolt through then you get the clamp on top of the exhaust i'm assuming you already connect this pipe and put the spring so we're pretty much ready to roll now you just move it here get it close turn around this exhaust comes with the clamp to lower it but when I'm measuring it's actually very good without it so what I'm gonna do I'll just remove this one I forgot to put the washer washer first then you put it through get it through the threads take the second washer put it here slide it on so this is how it's gonna look like bolt washer clamp washer get it on slide it through and get it locked now I have another washer that I'm gonna put on the other side another washer then I'm gonna take this one and lock it in place now we have to tie it up and we'll be done make sure it sits straight so it won't damage any carbon fiber finish on top get it closed tighten it up okay 13 mil tighten it up don't go crazy do not over torque otherwise you're gonna crack this beautiful carbon fiber now 13 mil to fix this clamp make sure it sits properly all right i got it tight enough that's it the job is done no i'm serious that's it all you have to do just take some clean towel get some rubbing alcohol wipe it off make sure you don't have any residual any fingerprints anything that was touching my gloves because this stuff is gonna burn and this stuff usually brings even more grease to your exhaust system so every time you're washing your bike take some rubbing alcohol wipe it off instead of using any shampoo on those parts and we're done are you ready for the sound test let's do it It's definitely not gonna be that loud if you're gonna run it for 10 15 20 minutes or if you take it for a spin this system needs to warm up and you will hear a true tone 
I think right now the best way is just put the gear, mount the microphone and take it for a spin. So you can hear how it sounds. A lot of people will just put the slip on, play the soundtrack and call it a day. We'd like to give you a full experience. You're gonna ride with us, you're gonna see how it sounds. And that's the most exciting part because I have to change the outfit and take it for a spin. Shall we? <laughs> What do you think about MGP Slip-On Exhaust? Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button and we'll see you next week.